Hey guys, Hack Tutorials, and I'm going to show you how to clean your PS3 thermal paste and then put new thermal paste on. So, for this, uh, obviously your PS3 has to be taken apart. I just finished downgrading it. Um, you're going to need some thermal paste, which there are different kinds of thermal paste. Um, I borrowed one from a friend. Um, let's see if I could uh, show you guys better. I don't know if you can see, but it's like silicone, silicone heat sink compound. Uh, this will work. Generally for PS3s, people like to use something like Arctic Silver 5 or MX4. Go get, go get yourself whichever one you want. Um, most of them should work. So, uh, anyway, let's get right to it. What else will you need? Get some uh, rubbing alcohol. This is isopropyl. I don't know exactly how to pronounce that, but... It's 91%. Um, I've seen people use 99. That works. 70 probably works as well. Um, doesn't need to be. Doesn't need to be too technical. Um, but this is 91%. This is what I'm going to be using. Um, get yourself some kind of cloth. Here's mine. Um, yeah. So first thing we're going to do is take off the old uh, compound. We, we need to get all of it off very cleanly. So as you can see, we have some compound on um, our CPU and RSX, and then also. on our heat sinks which are attached to the fan. Okay, you need to get all of it off. So all you gotta do is take some of this rubbing alcohol. You wanna just get a little bit on. I got a little bit too much there, but it's okay. And just take it and rub it onto your CPU and RSX very thoroughly. Get all of it off. So, just to note, why would you want to replace it? Well, Sony does an absolutely horrible job of applying thermal paste, and they use very cheap thermal paste as well. So, it does not transfer heat very efficiently, and you, it will probably result in the yellow light of death. So, let's go to the other one. Get all of it off. Okay, I could do a little bit of a better job here. You might see a, uh, a little bit of staining, uh, stainage, I don't know how to say it, but it could stain a little bit. That's okay, you can't get the stain off, but as long as you get all the actual compound off, that's what matters. And if you look really closely, let's see if I could uh, show you. You could see it reads, this is self, that's the CPU, and RSX, so that's the RSX <laughs> GPU, I guess. Um, so if you can if you can't see the lettering then then you didn't do a good enough job if you could see it that's a good sign. So now I'm going to move this to the side. And here are the heat sinks. So I'm just going to get some more rubbing alcohol on it. There we go. You can always wash these cloths, obviously, so rub it off the same exact way. These are a little bit easier to maneuver because they're not sitting on a motherboard where there's lots of chips and whatnot. Yeah, get it off nice and thoroughly. Heat sinks usually have a little bit more stainage on it. Um, also, try and avoid getting your fingers all over the heat sinks, which I'm, I'm, I'm pretty stupid and I am, but... Obviously, your skin has natural oils, and we want to eliminate that. We don't want that to go on. I'm going to put a little bit more. It's very stained there, as you can see. Okay, so that's off. Again, you can see the black stain. That's okay. As long as there's no compound on it, that's what matters. So, we don't actually put the thermal paste on the heat sinks. All we do is we put them on here. So, get your thermal paste compound, that's just a tube of compound. What you want to do is get a pea-sized uh, dot in the middle. Um, so just place it right in the middle. We don't want to spread it around or anything, just a small dot. And 
And that honestly should do. Let me just zoom in there. Okay, that's all you need. Just right in the middle. You don't, you know, spread it around with your finger or with a card or anything. You just leave it in the middle just like that. And same with the other one. Right in the middle. This way it will evenly distribute around um, your CPU and RSX. Okay. Because when you actually put the heat sinks on, they pressure this down and it kind of squishes it, it squishes it so that it evenly goes around. Um, and if you were to spread it around yourself, you'd probably get some air bubbles and we, we don't want that. Um, so this is good enough. And yeah, so that's what you do. Alright, so uh, this video is kind of part of a, a four video series where I show how to take apart PS3, downgrade it, um, replace thermal paste, and put it back together. So I still have one more video after this to make and that's how to put it back together. So I'm not going to actually begin putting this back together. I'm going to leave it like this for now. So if you want to see how to put it back together, go ahead and click on that video. It's on the screen right now. So it's in the description. Um, and yeah, so, or you could just put it back together yourself, however you'd like. But I'll show you exactly how to do it and how to do it safely. So, see you then.